for round two of the 2022 Kroon Oil BRC, we're heading to the south of Belgium. With a guest appearance for Pierre-Louis Lube in the M Sport Puma Rally 1 car, he's testing before WRC Croatia. And it was a bad start to the second round of the season for Sebastian Bedere, who had to abandon early on with engine failure. Roman De Helles was the fastest of the GT drivers. while Tom Rensenen was the fastest BRC junior driver. German driver Marianne Griebel took the win in the Stellantis Trophy. And in the BRC Masters, it was Eric Cunanen who showed solid pace in the Skoda and was fastest in his category. Back in front, Cedric Dicecko was struggling to get into the top five while Maxime Potty showed great progression throughout the day. Reigning BRC champion Ferdinand couldn't quite compete with the front runners. And it was the same story for Gisland Mevis, who finished fourth overall. But another great run for Gino Bucks and Nico Gizzle, their second podium of the season. However, Greg Warmunster took second place. Great preparation for his 2022 WRC2 campaign. But fastest of them all, once again for round two, was Stefan Leferbe. He controlled the race and extends his lead of the BRC. Stefan Leferbe proving he's going to be a force to be reckoned with this season, winning round two by 11.5 seconds ahead of Gregoire Munster. Gino Bucks lying in third position, third step of the podium for him. But in the all important points after the South Belgium rally, Leferbe is leading the BRC at the moment with 50 points, Gino Bucks on 33 points, Gisland de Mevis on 27 points. But with eight more rallies left to go, join us in three weeks' time when we'll be heading to the TAC rally. <laughs>